guys welcome back to my channel today we are doing our own body butter or body lotion all you're going to need for today is some unrefined shea butter some solid coconut oil and whatever essential oil you wish to choose from i'm going with lavender today and just an old mason jar this used to be a candle and i've boiled it and cleaned it out so it's ready to go before we get started I just want to remind you to follow me on Instagram because I do lots of daily hacks like I've made my own furniture polish, I've made my own drain on blocker and things like that so I'll do that once in a while and put them on my Instagram. So I'll include the links below. Today is just a three ingredient lotion, you can make lots of different ideas, there's loads of different like types out there, you can use different oils and things like that. So I'm just going to go with the three basic ingredients today to make a body lotion. So first of all, you need about four tablespoons of shea butter. And initially we need to just stick that in the microwave for about 30 seconds and um, that will soften out because it is quite, quite solid at the moment. Okay, so that's been about 30 seconds in the microwave as you can see it started to melt a bit and get a bit softer now the next instructions is to put it in a bowl and use a hand hand whisk or an electric hand whisk which I don't have so I am just going to use an upright blender I'm just going to pour in the softened slightly melted shea butter And then it says to take about four tablespoons of the coconut oil and they want you to use the cold pressed one, so not the liquid formation but the solid, solid stuff. Okay, and then it says to mix it up until it comes to a light and fluffy consistency. Now like I said, this is the first time I've done this, so I'm hoping it turns out okay. Just using my normal upright blender, make sure that gets onto the bottom, and let's whiz it up. Okay, so it looks quite light and fluffy, so Turn it upside down so it doesn't go everywhere when I open it. It's quite a nice texture, it's nice and light and thin. It hasn't got any scent to it, so obviously this is where you select the oil you want. It's gonna rub that in, that feels nice. So I'm gonna go for lavender, and it's probably gonna be like a lotion that I'd like to put on at the end of the day. And then I'm just going to give that another another blend just to make sure the oil is mixing with it. So you can see it's nice and thick and quite creamy. So if you're happy with the consistency of it, I'm quite happy. It's quite light, it's not too stodgy, so it could be, it's more of a lotion than a butter, which is good, because I don't really like body butters. I feel like they block, block my skin up a bit too much. So it's nice and light. If you can see, my hands are quite dry because I've been doing cleaning today, so. It's done a nice job and it's nice and soothing. And there we go, nice and easy. It does say to keep it at room temperature so you don't need to put it in the fridge or anything. You can keep it on your bedside table or something ready to use. 
and that's it I hope you've enjoyed this video I do try and keep them nice and quick and nice and easy for you to follow along at home and like I said make sure you follow my Instagram so that you can see any daily hacks or tricks that I do and make sure you subscribe because I will be trying to make some of my own face cream with slightly different oils and I will see you in the next video